Hello and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at October 31st, 2024's Some Next Nine by Clover. Um, I hope you are having a day which sums to a little bit more than nine. Let's say ten. Let's say it's, uh, let's say it sums to ten. Um, if you haven't met us before, hello, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person at home. Uh, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below, right down there. You'll also find some hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur regardless, because we love you all equally. Now, um, look at my pants. My pants are real, real pretty. My pants are real pretty. They're a bunch of colors. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I have. Um, so... Uh, that being said, let's get into today's puzzle. So, um, oh yeah, I'm built. Did I say that? Um, yeah. Anyway, let's do it. Um, so, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in each box, each row, and each column, the digits 1 to 9 must sum to, uh, yeah, the digits 1 to 9 need to, uh, appear once each. Now, clues outside of the grid, such as this 1 here and that 6 there, uh, indicate the sum of digits next to nine in that row or column. Uh, if the clue, uh, if the nine appears at the very end of its row or column, the clue shows the value of the single digit next to the nine. So here, uh, as an example, this could be two or four or one or five. That's how that works. Um, makes sense? Good. I love to hear it. Um, that being said, let's get into it. So, uh, the only way that you can make nine, uh, four in two cells is one and three, meaning once you can't have this as one and five, it must be two and four. Six and seven over here mean that this is a six, seven pair. The six over here means that six has to go here, seven here, and this is now an eight, nine pair. Sorry, a five, eight pair. Boy, yeah, so five there resolves that. Let's go down here, because we have, once again, a 4 next to a 9, and it must take two cells. This is a 1, 3. This is a 2, 4. Uh, we can place the 8 uh, over here. 5 in columns in row 7 is fixed as there. 7 here tells us which way around these go. Uh, now, in column uh, 1 and 9, uh, we have a very peculiar digit uh, input of... Sorry, in column one and row one, we have a particular digit. What's that particular digit here, you ask? Well, this one here can't be the sum of more than two digits because it'd have to be at minimum three. So one and two, meaning this needs to be at the end. So that way we can have it next to a one. So that one goes there, which resolves our three one pair. And in column one, we need to place a nine down here. The reason for that is one plus two the sum of two digits has to be a minimum of three. So, uh, it means that two goes here and four goes here. So, we can use that, to, and over here, this nine needs a three next to it. So, that resolves this bit, and the two over here resolves this bit. So, uh, let's do a little bit of Sudoku. Uh, two in column one can't go there. Oh, sorry, row one can't go there, so it must go there. And um, six in box three has to go here, meaning this is four, five, and eight. We can do that. That's eight and five means that that's a four. Eight here means that this has to be eight and five. Three over here means that that's a three and a nine. And with those digits down there, I know that that's not going to be able to get fixed. Uh, three in row nine can't go there. So three has to go here and one goes there. 8 in box 7 can't go in any of those cells, so that's an 8 there. Uh, this is now 1, 6, and 7, so 6, six and 7 must uh, rule, are ruled out of that cell. 6 has to go here, and 7 there. Uh, 2 over here, 2 and 9. Uh, 4, 6, and 7 over here, and 1, 5, and 8 over here. Now, uh, we can clean this up even further. 9 here takes the six out of this. Um, that would take the six out of that. It would take five, one, and eight. And then uh, 
4 and 7 out of those. So 9 here needs to have two digits that sum to 7. 7 plus anything is going to be greater than 7, so that doesn't work. So this has to be 4 and 3, which means this is 6 and 7. 9 over here means that this has to be a 1-5 pair, but as you can see, 5 over here means that that's a 1 and that's a 5, 8, 1. Uh, we now need to place a 7 and an 8 over here, and in this one we need a 2 and a 4. We can't quite make that work just yet, but that's okay. Uh, now, uh, this is a 5, 6, and 9. Now, don't jump to the gun and assume uh, 9 has to go there. Uh, 9 has to go there. There is another spot it can go. But what we do know is where does 9 go in row 4? 9 has can't go at the end, so it can't just be adjacent to a 4. So that means it needs to be the sum of two cells. Once again, we know that the sum of two cells summing to 4 must be 1 and 3. The only place 9 can go is here. So that's 9 and 3. Uh, 6, take the 6 out of those. Uh, this is a 2. Uh, 6, 5, 9, 5, 4, 2. And then, uh, yeah, we've just cleaned that up. So that's 9, 3, and 2. Uh, so this is 4, 4 and 1. Uh, 2, 4. Oh, yeah, I'm just cleaning this up now. Uh, and then 8 and 9 means that's 3, 9, and 8. This has been Some Next to Nine by Clover. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.